Hello dear students. I am Mr. Debajit Paul. I am an assistant teacher in Bongaygao High Secondary School, English Medium. I teach computer science there. Today, I have brought you a video in which I shall describe the entire process by which we shall conduct your half-yearly examination 2020. I am pretty confident that after watching this video, you will definitely be able to appear in your half-yearly examination without any problem. But before I start the proceedings I would like to introduce an English word to you. It is a nine-letter word. The word is integrity. Integrity means always doing the right thing even when no one is watching you. Say for example, you are sitting in the classroom with all your classmates and you sharpen your pencil. What would you do with the peels? You will find the dustbin and put it there. Now, imagine you are sitting alone in the classroom and you sharpen the pencil. Instead of putting the peels in the dustbin, you throw it on the floor. Why? Because no one is there to see you. In such case, I must say that you do not have integrity. Now, the question is why am I telling this? While you will be appearing the exam, we shall not be around. But we firmly believe that you will complete the process with honesty and integrity. I would also like to request the parents and guardians to keep a good watch over the fact that their kids don't try to use any unfair means during the examination. Now, let us come to the point. The examination will be based on multiple choice questions or MCQs. We have divided the exam process in two groups, first group is from classes 1 to 5, and the second group is from classes 6 to 12. Points to remember for classes 1 to 5. 1. Full marks for each subject will be 50. 2. The question paper will be comprised of 25 questions bearing 2 marks each. 3. For every question, there will be 4 options, and you have to select the right option. 4. The time limit will be 90 minutes. You have to complete the entire process within the given time, including the sending of answers. Points to remember for classes 6 to 12. 1. Full marks for each subject will be 50. 2. The question paper will be comprised of 50 questions bearing one mark each. 3. For every question, there will be 4 options, and you have to select the right option. 4. The time limit will be 120 minutes. You have to complete the entire process within the given time, including the sending of answers. In this regard, I must tell you that you will get your routine stating the date and time of examination in due course of time. Now, let me give you step-by-step -step details of what you have to do to appear in the examination. Step 1. Be online on the appointed time as per the routine. Don't miss it. Step 2. Keep a piece of paper and a pen or pencil with you and nothing else. Step 3. You will get the question paper in PDF format. You will download it as soon as you receive it. Step 4. Open the question paper, read it attentively and note down the question numbers in the paper, and write the option number A, B, C or D whichever you think is correct. Step 5. After completing the paper, you will go to WhatsApp and type your name, class, section, roll number. Then you will type what you have written in the piece of paper, that is, the questions numbers, and the option number A, B, C or D whichever you think is correct. Then, you will send it to your concerned subject teacher. You must not message in the group. You will send the message directly and only to the concerned teacher. In this regard, I would like to request the parent or guardian of lower class students to help them in this particular step. I would also like to request all the students and parents to collect the phone numbers of the concerned teachers in advance. Needless to say, that you will find their numbers in the WhatsApp groups. In addition to this, I would like to you give some additional information which you must note and follow strictly. 1. No answer message should be accepted after the given time. 2. No, teacher or the school is responsible for the technical or mechanical issues faced in submitting or reaching your answer messages to the concerned teacher later than the stipulated time. 3. Remember, one student can send only one answer message for each subject. 4. In terms of any disputes raised, the decision of the school authority is final and above all, on which no individual judgment will be entertained. 5. In the question paper along with the questions, you will find the name and number of the concerned teacher to whom the answer message is to be sent. However, I would suggest you to collect the number in advance instead of waiting for the last moment. Now, I have two requests to both the parents and students. 1. If you know that someone who is known to you has left the WhatsApp group, inform them immediately and ask them to join the group anyhow. 2. Please do not send any other message like good morning, hi, hello etc. to the teachers before or after sending the answer message. This much for today. In case of any difficulty, you can always contact us. We are always keen to help you. I hope your cooperation will help us to conduct the examination smoothly. That's what I wanted to convey on behalf of our school. Dear students, take care, prepare well and all the best for your exams. I am signing off now, bye bye.